The M1919 is a medium machine gun successor to the M1917. Both designed by John Browning. What not a lot of people know is that the M1919 was not originally a machine gun but a lunchbox. The Department of Defense had actually commissioned John Browning to design a new lunchbox for the United States Army. However, for some reason, John Browning, after finishing the lunchbox design, decided to add a barrel to the lunchbox for tactical purposes. Then he proceeded to add a trigger and some other moving parts. By the time the United States Army got their lunchboxes, they realized that it was actually quite heavy and could be belt-fed 306 rounds, which made it a perfect candidate to replace the M1917. You would have never know this piece of historic trivia from Wikipedia. You are welcome. It was deployed in World War II, the Korean War and the Vietnam War. In some cases in some countries it is still in service, weighing 31 pounds or 14 kilograms, compared to the M1917, weighing 103 pounds or 47 kilograms. It was quite an improvement on weight and cooling operation of the gun. The rate is 400 to 600 rounds per minute. 3D transition we. The caliber the M1919 was chambered in. 306 belt fed. 3D transition we. The emergence of the general purpose machine gun in the 1950s pushed the M1919 into secondary roles especially after the arrival of the M60 also called the ex-wife for how heavy and loud it is. The United States Navy converted many of the M1919 to 7.62 mm NATO and designated them MK21. They were commonly used on riverine craft in the 1960s and 1970s in Vietnam Baby. Many NATO countries also converted theirs to 7.62, and these remained in service well into the 1990s as well as up to the present day as I stated before. You are paying attention right? There will be a quiz later. Or maybe not. As a company support weapon, the M1919 required a crew of five men. Monogamy was not its thing. The original LIDED was to allow it to be more easily packed for transport, and featured a light barrel and bipod when the first introduced as the M1919-01. Unfortunately the gun had a pretty bad diet and it got so fat that it quickly became clear that the gun was too heavy to be easily moved, while at the same time, too light for sustained fire. You may think that for what I just said the M1919 was a total failure. But this was not the case since it later on got his confidence improved with a heavier barrel and a heavier tripod if you know what I mean. This meant that now although heavier it could sustain longer fire with more accuracy. It just lasted longer and shooted better wink wink. This gun became quite famous as it showed up in multiple video games in the last two decades often portrayed as a stationary machine gun. But recently it has been featured as a man-portable machine gun which is quite accurate since historically it did perform in such a way. With almost 400,000 Unites produced it is pretty safe to say that it is a quite successful gun and a pretty funny one too. And if anything iconic of World War II and in some cases Vietnam. Since we don't really talk about the Korean War and you know why. No Korean War talk allowed in this house. Anyway thanks for watching I'll be making more historically accurate very useful information. About weapons. Firearms and what not. Thank you and goodbye. By the way. Check out my shorts. My YouTube shorts I mean. I think they are pretty good. Anyway bye bye. Here it is the M1919 doing a little bit of shooting, fed with an invisible belt. Warning. Loud sound incoming.